Up, push. There you go, one more time. Down. Give a good push. Up. All right, rack it. Guys, appreciate you stopping back by. Today, I want to address weight training and, and young athletes. And we, have some, we get great questions from parents all the time, but this is one of the concerns. An incoming seventh grader uh, going in and was concerned about him doing weight training. What we got talking about a little bit more is the main reason we started doing this 30 years ago with kids was preventing injuries, teaching them mechanics and basic things they need to do. And our goal over the summer camp with these kids going into junior high is just teaching them, let's, how do we bench? How do we do the main squats? What, what do we really do with these lifts so that when they, we send them loose and they get back to their own junior high school and they start a weight training program and they're in with 30 or more kids, our kids are safe and they know how to do these lifts. Now, on the second part, to help really understand a little bit more about it, is I explained to her some of the frustrations we have as strength coaches and, and understanding the things to help these kids out are people will say they shouldn't be doing weight training at that age. However, they've got them doing their push-ups. Well, we take a look at those same kids, those little skinny kids trying to work on things. They're doing push-ups out there. And I asked her, I said, how many push-ups can he, can he really do in perfect form? He said, probably two. Well, if they're only getting two reps, you're telling, and that's okay. And then they still struggle to try and get five, six, working on 10, because coach typically won't say do two. They'll say, give me 10 or 20 pushups. Well, if they can only do two good in form, that means they've got a two rep max on that, on that pushup. Would you then have your athlete get under a bench press and put max weight that all they could do is two reps? No, we wouldn't have them do that. So understanding the weight training, we're going to use a bar that they start. Some of them are 15, 25. Some can do 35 or 45 pound bars, but strength is relative. When they can do the weight and accomplish it at a certain weight and just that bar and they've got perfect form, then we increase the load and keep going. But we still aren't doing one and two rep maxes with those guys. I don't even do that with my high school athletes. So understand, let's step back, take a look at what we're really trying to do. And strength training is really about giving a solid foundation getting their bodies prepared to handle the stress of sport. And if you're not actually letting your athlete take part in strength program, you're setting them up for some real injuries out there on the field. Because if they're playing year-round baseball, they're year-round football, soccer, anything else, and they're not involved in a strength program to let them handle that stress, there will be a point. Their joints can't handle that stress. Then they break down. And I never want a parent out there to say, man, I wish I'd have done something to help cut down on the injury for that athlete. And I know parents don't want to do that on purpose, but if they don't know it's okay or have somebody qualified to handle them, that's the other thing. Doesn't mean you'll go out and grab the weights in, in the garage and go after it. Let's follow what we really should be doing. Follow the guidelines. So as always, if we can help you, please let us know, but man, let them take part in it, but make sure they're doing the right thing with the right person out there, the right coach to help them get the right footing in it. So when they get in that high school or junior high weight room, they're ahead of everybody else. Let's keep them safe. Appreciate you guys being SOA strong. Follow. We've got a lot of great stuff coming this summer from our summer camps. And uh, let us know how we can help you help your athlete become their best.